Hey everybody, Ann here. I'm going to go to the chicken coop here and get Beauty out and see how she's doing. I got Beauty in my lap and it's been a week. She seems to be doing okay, hopping along, so I'm going to check the leg out. I got the bandage off and I felt the leg. And I am 99.999% sure that it has been dislocated at the hip. Because I felt around, there's absolutely nothing going on in that leg. I mean, it is basically like not having a leg at all. Um, so I'm not going to put a bandage back on. Um, I can't let it free range. Uh, I just don't really know what to do at this point with her because she's she's fine she's laying the eggs but she just can't get around and I know that the other chickens will pick on her because they already did when I first found her and she was just kinda like laying there they were pecking at her so if I'm gonna keep this hen I'm gonna have to keep her separated for time and memoriam I don't know what do you guys think I should do just don't know because I need that back area oh she's gonna lay a lay a poop gross <laughs> well her bowels are working just fine she's got some yucky stuff on her but she's hopping around okay I don't know maybe if I just put her I don't want to isolate her though I just don't know I don't know Because I don't think there's any way, aside from going to a vet, to fix a broken hip. Whew. Decisions, decisions. Well, I'm going to have to think about it. Huh. I don't know. She's a pretty big hen, so I'm going to think on it, and I'm going to let you guys kind of tell me what you think I should do. Sandy? Um, I don't know if you're anywhere near. If you want a disabled hen, you're welcome to her. Um, she's just a delightful hen, and she keeps laying me eggs, so... And she's always been kind of a loner, so I don't know. I, don't, I mean, technically, I could probably still brood chickens back in the back there. Um, because she's not going to be able to hurt them. <laughs> she's just not. And that's what the main back area is supposed to be for, is to brood little baby chicks if I get more of them. So I don't know. We're just going to have to see. Hop along, beauty. <laughs> oh my goodness. Decisions, decisions. Yeah, there's, there's nothing going on in that leg. Nothing at all, at all, whatsoever. So it's got to be a, the hip. I don't know how it happened, but... She's just a, a unique bird. I like her. I like the way she looks. She's got that funny looking comb. She can never free range. Nope. So I got some things to think about. So I think I'm, what I'm going to do for now is just leave her back in this back part. I've got, uh, you can't see her, but Cayenne is back there. Cayenne has been in out, out in the yard all day. But I have the other chickens out free ranging and I don't want to close the yard up because uh, I think one hen still needs to lay. So I'm going to kind of just keep them back here. Of course, I'll let Cayenne out and she'll free range eventually once she gets more indoctrinated. But, uh, you know, Beauty, she seems none the worse for wear. She hops around, she eats when she wants to, poops when she wants to, hops up in that little nest over there, lays me an egg. So for now, we're just going to maybe just do this. The bunnies are doing great. <laughs> they eat out of each other's mouths. It's so cute. This is the third batch of stuff I've brought to them. Well, hello there, Daddy. <laughs> yep, it's a little warm today, so they're just kind of lounging around. They got plenty of food, plenty of water. Just as sweet as can be. They're getting big. This little garden is doing pretty good. Um, things are a little wilty now because it's been kind of warm. But when I get up first thing in the morning, everything is perked up, looking beautiful. I even harvested 
I harvested a little bit of the wild lettuce, some of the viola leaves, uh, some of this. I'm going to take this part off here in a minute. Um, and a couple pieces of dock and put them on my tacos last night, so that was wonderful. I dig it. I totally dig it. I may add a couple more things to it. We'll just have to wait and see. Looky, this is my wild raspberry bush, and it's going to get blooms. It didn't bloom last year, but it is definitely going to bloom this year. And one thing good about this, I actually have it growing wild all over my property. It's sprouting up everywhere, um, and I have been kind of trimming some of the places off it because the bunnies love to eat raspberry leaves and raspberry twigs. Even though they got these little thorny things on them, they still chow down on them. And all of these things are doing pretty good. I've kind of leveled it down to basically two per pot um, and I'll level it down once again to one once I decide which is going to be the strongest. So everything is coming up except for regular jalapenos. The jumbo jalapenos and the green bell peppers are coming up. I don't know if you can see now but there is def definitely uh, peppermint coming up. This is the spearmint. There's nothing coming up in there. But one thing I noticed is there's a little bit of green stuff in the jumbo jalapeno peppers that may very well be peppermint or mint of some kind because it looks exactly see that down there it looks exactly like what's coming up over here so who knows anyhow oh and the basil is not coming up which bums me out so things are looking pretty decent um, they definitely need more sun that's for sure it's been cloudy lately but I've been bringing them outside anyhow who knows Sorry if it looked like some of those clips were like blurry because I think that there was something on the lens. <laughs> I just didn't want to reshoot it. I just couldn't. Um, anyhow, <laughs> went into town today, went grocery shopping, took Papa with me. He was great. Um, but it's starting to warm up, so I'm going to have to either go earlier in the day or later in the afternoon because I think it got a little warm in there inside the truck. I had the, the windows cracked and everything, but still, he's got all that fur, so I can't keep him in the truck all the time when it's warming up, if you know what I mean. Oh, by the way, here he is right here. He's such a good boy. He is just the best. He's back to his normal self. He's not stressed out. He likes to stick by me more. When I let him out and romp, he comes back pretty quickly. And, uh... He's just a good boy. Sometimes he even jumps up in the bed and likes to snuggle with me, don't you, Papa? Yes, you're a good boy. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.